So now, let us look at how to mirror objects inside of Cinema 4D. In order to mirror an object, I'm going to grab a uh, shape right here, something like a cube, and then I'm going to change this a bit from the side. So I'm going to convert this into a polygonal object by pressing C right here, and then I'm going to uh, go to my S2 and select this out. And once I do that, I'm going to go to uh, my rescale tool and resize it and also bring this down over here just like this and move it onto the side so it does not look very symmetrical as you can see so i got this unique shape over here just like this so now i'm going to mirror out the shape so in order to mirror out the shape i'm going to select this object right over here and now uh, i need to enable the mirror for that uh, i need to go over here onto the polygonal face selection tool and i am supposed to right click and once I right click, you can see mirror is there. And the shortcut key for it is M. Just like this. So M and H. So that brings out the mirror tool as well. So I'm going to go back to the shape object right here uh, to mirror out everything. And you can see that once you see mirror, there's mirror system right here with a screen. And there are different mirror systems like object, will, and screen. So let's go with object. In object, you can simply click on mirror and it mirrors the object over here. So it mirrors right over from the side. So you can click anywhere on the side. Right now, the coordinates that you can mirror your object in is X and Y. So if I were to go over here, you can see that I can uh, keep my point at the top. So it actually mirrors in an X and, y, X and Y axis. So X right there. If you were to change the mirror plane right over here by selecting a different option like Z and Y, now it is in another direction as you can see so another direction it mirrors out the object another thing that you can choose is x and z which is top and bottom just like this and it mirrors out the object just like that and you can do it as many times as you want and it actually creates a duplicate as you can see so if you want to create something like a pattern then you can actually do this so you can select something else over here and then you can see that immediately you get a pattern so let me just go over here and there you go. So there's the pattern uh, which we made by using this mirroring right over here. And you can see that you can create something like walls and everything which you can do just like that. Anyway, let us go back into a singular object right over here. So let's go back onto a singular object. And over here, let us look at the other mirroring option and that is will. So once you select will, it actually takes this center point and if I were to mirror it out, Right now it's in well, but if I were to press apply, you can see that it mirrors like this. Once you click apply, again, you can see that this is the mirror that is happening. So it does not duplicate. So if I were to go on this section, it mirrors like this. If I were to go to this section, it mirrors like this. If I were to go to X and Z, it mirrors like this. So that is how the mirroring works out like in the world view. Another thing is the camera view. So that is the screen view. So whenever I click somewhere, it'll take that as a center point and mirror accordingly. So I'm going to rotate around. Let's say this is the center mirror and it mirrors out accordingly as you can see. So I can go over here. This is a center point maybe and I can mirror it out just like this. So if I want to create something like this, something like a mirror over here, then it simply duplicates out and you can see that everything is there as a circle just like this. I can go over here mirror it out over here as well. So let me just select this view and let's see how that works like. So uh, over here, not like this, but okay. So if I were to mirror it out like this, you can see that there's the mirroring going on right here. And there you go. So you have this kind of a shape just like that. So that is because you use the screen as a reference point and that is how you can create awesome things just like this and you can mirror as many times as you want and depending on the speed of your graphic card and everything you see the level of detail right over here so there you go you got the mirror objects going on right over here so all created through a single mirror as you can see so that is how you can work around with the mirror objects just like that so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe